So, before we get on with the video, I just wanted to s announce. Hi everyone, sounds a bit awkward. So, um, the kit collab that I have been talking about for the past few weeks on my podcast, the um, three-way collab, if you will, with Meg of Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits and then Chelsea of Danyan MN. Um, our kit goes live on Monday in the Danyan MN uh, shop. I'll pop a link to it in the description box below. It goes live on Monday at 7 a.m. Central Time, which is 1 p.m. GMT, which will mean you can adjust accordingly. Um, but I've got some photos, and I'm putting them in now so you can see them, of the bag, which is beautiful, the yarn, which is also beautiful, and the stitch marker, which, I'm not going to lie, is also quite cute. Um, and it's all about wonderful and Christmas and colour coordinated, and there are only limited numbers available. So, head on over to Chelsea's shop to grab yourself a kit. There are very limited numbers available, like I have said, so set your alarm for 1pm GMT, 7 a.m. Central Time on Monday, the, oh, didn't look up the date. That's stupid, 13th, Monday the 13th of November. Okay, cool, let's let's get on with the video and look at some yarn. Woo, very exciting. Hey everyone, it's Hannah, and I'm about to go to the bus stop, but there's a main road just there, so it's super loud, so I've tried to tuck away, but I don't know if it's worked. But of course, I'm on my way to Nottingham Yarn Expo, and lucky for me, it's only a short bus ride away, so. Oh my goodness, my makeup's all coming off. It's only like six o'clock, it's not even that late. But I was there all day. Um, we left at about half past four, and the bus just seemed to take ages to get back, so that's kind of annoying. Um, so, I met up with the lovely Nessa of Kill to Craft. Um, I didn't actually film anything with her, which is really silly, but we took a photo together, it was nice. And that's my coat, so super prof professional filming on the sofa. Um, and a really lovely day. I have a ticket for the weekend, so I might pop back tomorrow, but I probably won't vlog it. Um, if I do vlog tomorrow, it'll probably just be, just to show you what I got. I could show you now. I don't know what the lighting's going to be like, though, so. I went a little overboard. Well, I say this. You can, you can assess for yourself how overboard I went. Oh, so I walked around for two hours and didn't buy anything. Because this is what I do. If you've, ooh, if you've met me at a yarn festival before... You know that I walk around stunned for a while, and then I make all my purchases within half an hour. So I'm just getting them all out of my tote bag. Got some rough length. Sorry. Cool. So the first skein I bought was this. 
and its stranded dye works on her oasis base, uh, which is 75% Sioux Porsche Merino, 25% nylon. And this is the colorway Vintage Christmas. And it's greener than it looks on camera. But it's beautiful mint green with some orangey speckles and it's really pretty. I thought that this could be my Christmas Eve cast on because it's not too Christmassy so I'm not just restricted to wear them at Christmas. And then I popped back to Tracy of North George because I'd already gone to say hi. So I popped back and actually bought some yarn. And I bought this beautiful skein which is her Super Sock which is 75% Super Wash Merino, 25% Nylon. Um, and it's in her colourway Eggnog. Oh, how beautiful is that? Just so nice. I've got the shiniest nose. Ugh. Now I'd already bear in mind I'd gone round the oh I'd gone round the marketplace twice already, so I kind of knew what I was going to get. Then I went to visit Beth of Beehive Yarns, yeah Beehive Yarns, and I bought this. It's double knit, which is her dolly base. It's superwash merino DK. This is in the colorway Sandpiper. This is beautiful. You know I love and love me a natural like a undyed with speckles. If you hear noise in the background, it's the oven. I've got myself a frozen pizza for dinner because it's exactly what I want because I am so tired. I meant I was meant to be going out with drinks um, with Claire of uh, Beautiful Things and I felt awful because I'm so tired. I forgot how exhausting it is. Anyway, to go with that, I have this mini which is also double knit and it's in treacle tart. So, that's going to be my pom-pom. And Beth said how, that she hadn't had many people buy the double knit. So, I'm super glad I did. And then the final thing I bought. I know, maybe I didn't go too overboard. But, got me a ball of self-striping. This is um, Down Sheepy Lane. And this is in the colourway Peppermint Party. It's 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. And yeah. It's a self striping with a contrast for he he toes and cuffs or whatever, or toes and heels. And I love this. It kind of looks Christmassy. I, ooh, I saw a sock nipped up of it and I had to get a skein. So I bought myself yarn from all of the people that I had been coveting. So I'm quite proud that I didn't go too, too overboard. It's quite sensible, especially because I really want a sweater quantity in this. <laughs> so yeah, I've had a really lovely day. It was lovely to get to know Nessa a bit more. She was my uh, Yarn Festival buddy. I walked around from, by myself for a little bit and then I saw her giant pom-pom that she had. And so then I went to say hi. And then we just hung around for the rest of the day and it was really lovely. I was surprised at how many stalls there were. I was expect expecting it to be much, much smaller than it was. It was massive. And I know the space because I went to university there. So I know the space. I'm familiar with how large the space is because that's where I graduated. I had my photos taken there and everything. So I did know how large it was. I just didn't know that they would use up as use as much of the space. Oh, sorry, use as much of the space as they did use, um, which was really really good. There are a few stalls that I think were a bit tucked away that maybe people didn't realise there were stalls there. I'm not entirely sure, um, but it was really nice that there was loads of space because it meant that you could properly look at everything. Because you know when you go to like a yarn festival and it's so packed and crowded, you couldn't look. Um, so it was a really good space and the whole of the ceiling is glass so it was super light which was lovely as well because that's my complaint about Edinburgh Yarn Festival is that the lighting is terrible it's awful um, you can't fully see what yarn you're getting but I'm yeah oh I've had a really lovely day I'm really glad I went so I might be going back again tomorrow um, but I probably won't film anything because I'm not intending on buying anything I've been very I feel like I've been quite good. I went very little bit. This this brought me over budget, but that's okay. It wasn't a budget set in stone. It was just like a little, you know, a little one. 
but I met some really lovely people that um, I have been my my pocket friends as uh, yeah my little internet friends I've met some of them so I'm really really happy about that really glad I went and yeah I hope you enjoyed this little vlog I hope that I got a lot of or enough footage I feel like I didn't I did quite a lot of sitting and knitting which was really nice I, I've been knitting on my half moon oracle shawl which you know a little addicted um but yeah it was really lovely to sit and knit on that for a bit but i think i might go back tomorrow and just you know commandeer one of the big comfy chairs and sit and knit and watch the world go by because i did get a weekend ticket i don't need to buy anything else but i did get a weekend ticket so it'd be rude not to so yes i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did feel free to hit that thumbs up button it would mean a lot to me and feel free to subscribe if you fancy it i will show you the yarns more in depth and talk about them more i'm sure on my podcast which will be this week and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon in my next video bye